Hey guys, uh, Dwayne here. Um, want to talk about this uh, Florida Republican who wants to ban the EPA just pitch an alternative to Bocasio Cortez's Green New Deal. So as I predicted, and other people have been talking about, um, there's been a slight shift in the Overton window in terms of what Republicans could go out and say in terms of uh, uh, the environment and um, and global global warming, uh, um, and so it's kind of you got to give credit where credit is due. AOC is kind of responsible for that because if she has a plan and the Republicans don't, then that's kind of not looking good. Um, he uh, he wants to tackle climate change uh, supposedly. Plan focuses on spurring innovation rather than addressing global warming through regulation. Um, he says, history will judge harshly my Republican colleagues who deny the science of climate change. Uh, he also wants to ban the EPA. That's an interesting idea. Um, I'll get to that later. Some, you know, I have some thoughts on that too. Um, I... He wants to trim your regulation, supporting clean energy innovation, addressing uh, uh, Chinese intellectual property theft. Chinese intellectual property theft, um, something that Trump and Bannon have been harping on for a long time. Um, and, uh, and, you know, it's real. It's an issue, you know, we should talk about in, 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 in his, uh, his emphasis here is on, you know, um, you know, carbon capture technology and all these green technologies being being given to the Chinese. So, on the other hand, I mean, shouldn't if if this is a global issue, um, at the end of the, of the day, um, once we develop the technology, we got to give it to China. I mean, they'll either buy it from us or they'll interview them. We can't move unilaterally on, on, on climate change. Um, so there, there's that issue, which I have to really go through. So he calls it the Green Real Deal. Um, AOC calls her his plan just uh, weak and lame. Where's the courage? Where's the audacity? Where's the daring? None of it is there. Where's the beef? She said. Um, my plan has a lot of courage, audacity, and daring. Um, it's funny she mentioned beef because she doesn't like cows, but whatever. Um, of course, there's no mention of of farming. Um, there's no mention of uh, the build of, of of carbon in the oceans, ocean acidification. Um, my plan deals with both of those things and. Um, looks at carbon capture as something each and every one of us could do to not only mitigate but but turn back the flow of carbon into the atmosphere um, through permaculture and that would that would incentivize um, it would incentivize people in urban and suburban areas who uh, priced out of the housing market say hey let me go build my homestead you know, and I make, I, I, I grow my own food and I do, I do some, some, something like essential oils or I, you know, I grow hemp or marijuana or, or on the coast you do aqua, some kind of aquaculture shellfish, um, combined with kelp harvesting and, and, um, and stimulate not only the o oceanic, um, environment, e ecology, but you take that kelp, move all the micronutrients and the carbon with it back into the soil as the greatest fertilizer ever and a, a transfer of wealth, carbon wealth from the ocean back into the land, locking it up in the soil. Um, so my plan has audacity and that it is not only just a movement of carbon, a movement of people from urban areas to rural areas, creating a true green republic and essentially, in doing so, it would demolish the Democrat Party. I'm pretty sure it would. They, they depend on an urban population. And um, the path towards environmentalism is through the republic, 
uh, is through the Republican Party, it's, it's through conservative, uh, it, it can bare bones conservative government, um, and that's all there is to it. So, I got your audacity, AOC. I've got your daring, and uh, this would be uh, a way for each and every one of us to get involved. We don't need government control. We don't need a huge bureaucracy. Uh, we don't need to, you know, fill up the swamp with these layers of bureaucracy and rules. People would be invested in their own clean air, clean water, clean soil because they are dependent on the earth themselves as as a, as a true republic, a, neo, a Jeffersonian neo-agrarian movement. Um, it would also, and AOC doesn't do this, and Gates doesn't do this, it would cut big ag at the knees. You know, we... You know, this would this would this would this would bring the animals out of the factory farms. This would destroy the Monsantos, the big ag companies, because they're going to be in competition with this booming um, rural agrarian population. And local governments can still penalize the Monsantos of the world for their insecticides, for their bad water, and the population will support on the local level. This isn't the govern. This isn't the, the overarching government. But the local level is going to say, "Hey, we're dependent on 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 clean soil, on clean air, on clean water for our agrarian society. These these big unless these uh, you know big Monsantos unless they change their tune, um, yeah, we're we're running over them. So that's what my plan does. That neither." Gates nor AOC addresses uh, the solution is under our feet. It's in the soil. That's about it today. As always, like this video and subscribe and share it if you thought it illuminating. Um, dislike it if you are a corporate Democrat who denies the reality of soil depletion. See you later, guys.